What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here to talk about the USB port on the Microsoft Surface. Now this is one of the features that the Surface has that kind of separates it from all the other tablets out there, at least in my mind. Having that USB port gives its users the opportunity to plug in something like a USB hub, and from there they can really extend what they can do with their tablet. Now it kind of goes without saying that one of the most popular uses for a USB port would be a USB flash drive. So as you can see right here, I'm just going to go ahead and plug that right into the hub, and Windows 8 recognizes it without any problems at all. I've found that having the USB port can be very convenient because it lets me move files to other devices without email or cloud services like Dropbox. By using the USB hub, you're also allowed to have more than one USB device connected, which is really nice if you're using this computer as more of a laptop than a tablet. Now I believe this is going to be a lot more useful once we see the Surface Pro and then we can transfer EXE files and actually run them. But another thing to take notice of is that these tiny little icons are actually kind of hard to tap with your finger. Which brings us right to the next beauty of a USB hub and that's the ability to use USB keyboards and mice. I found that the desktop version of the Surface RT was much easier to navigate when using a keyboard and mouse. While I didn't find the keyboard to be all that intuitive throughout the entire Windows 8 operating system, there are a few areas where I thought it did shine, namely the desktop. So as you can see, I go into the desktop by hitting the Windows key, and while I'm at the desktop, I can launch and pin applications with just the tap of a few keys. To those of you out there looking to create content using your Microsoft Surface, that USB port actually does give you the option to use external devices such as microphones. And to give a quick demonstration of that, I just downloaded a very simple sound recorder right from the store. As you can see, it can start recording. I found that within this particular application, there was no way to manually specify your input settings, but it just started using the blue snowball without me even having to configure anything. It simply worked. So what this particular application did was it just created that mp3 file right in my music folder. So right from the Metro or the modern user interface, I can just tap on my music, I can go into that unknown album, and what do you know, there's that audio recording right from the Blue Snowball. This is a test clip using the Blue Snowball on the Microsoft Surface. I think the USB port is going to benefit those of you out there that really want to use the Surface as more of a laptop rather than a tablet. Be sure to look out for my full Surface review, I'm at CPUKid on Twitter, also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter, and I'll see you in my next video.